Pittsburgh Steelers offensive coordinator Arthur Smith exposes the truth about the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback competition this offseason. And also yesterday, the Pittsburgh Steelers agreed to a three-year contract extension with head coach Mike Tomlin. So, Arthur Smith, in his recent interview done today, reveals the truth about Russell Wilson versus Justin Fields for the number one quarterback spot. But first, before I get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates. Also, like the video. Now, let's get right back into it. So, Russell Wilson versus Justin Fields. Who will be quarterback number one? Well, Arthur Smith reiterates Mike Tomlin's comments that were made earlier in the offseason, basically saying this. Here's the quote. Russell Wilson is in a pole position. It's a competition. Obviously, when we get to Latrobe, certainly I'm sure things will heat up. Both guys knew that, however, when they were acquired, when they got here. I think it's been pretty transparent. I know Mike said that on the record as well. End quote. So, Arthur Smith, he reiterates the same thing. The same thing we all knew, all thought, that Russell Wilson, as of right now, is quarterback one. And more than likely, he will enter the season as quarterback one, and thus dramatic changes are made, or Justin Fields just has a showing out party and absolutely demolishes the quarterback competition. But as of right now, Russell Wilson is in clear spot of number one. And it makes complete sense for him to hold that spot too, because if he is number one and everyone knew that coming in, then he's going to get most of the reps with the first team, basically all the reps with the first team. That means that Justin Fields, he would have the reps with the second team, and even in the preseason, it'll be Russell Wilson against the starters, with the starters, Justin Fields with the backups, against the backups, and it's very hard to win a quarterback competition for the number one spot, having lesser competition or playing with the backups, because then that just makes you in a disadvantage in terms of the camaraderie and the work put in with each other. But anyway, like Arthur Smith said, he expects things to pick up as we enter training camp in La Trobe. And that is basically because this is only OTAs. It's not even mandatory minicamp yet. This is not the appropriate time to be kind of messing around with the pecking order at the quarterback spot. It's just practices and is very limited on what they could do in terms of what they can actually stimulate as a game situation. So with that being said, they're just going through the motions, going through the offense, working with the offense, defense working with the defense. It's not even offense versus defense yet. So it's not like they can really switch anything in terms of the quarterback situation right now and the picking order or who's number one, who's number two, and kind of move that around. It's not even offense versus defense or game situations yet. When we get further in the trope, like he says, then it might pick up in terms of actual game competition and what they could do on the football field at the stages in their career and who better fits this team right now. So mandatory minicamp, it starts here very soon. And then next month, we'll get into training camp at the end of July. Smith's words alongside Mike Tomlins from earlier this offseason confirms basically that Russell Wilson is a starter and that Fields will in fact be given opportunities to, com to compete for the job. But even though they both know that Russell Wilson right now is in pole position of number one. And it makes sense. Because just say if the Steelers traded for Justin Fields first and then signed Russell Wilson, then you could think, hey, it may be even more of a quarterback competition. Because then Justin Fields came in first, knowing, hey, I'm the starter. But no, it was Russell Wilson who came in first, signing in the offseason. The Steelers signed him first with a no trade clause in his contract. Basically saying, hey, you're the starter, and that's the reason why he came here. That's why it's him at number one. And then Justin Fields was traded for after. So that kind of makes sense that both guys know what their position is on this team before they came here. If it was opposite and things were switched, I'm sure that the scenario would be different for both guys. But it's not. They both came in, and Russell Wilson came in first, Justin Fields came in second, and that's why that's the picking order. So you look at this. And you have to just think, if Russell Wilson is the number one, when we enter the season, will there be a package for Justin Fields to come in in certain situations and play? Obviously, they like what Justin Fields brings in terms of his legs, running, and everything like that. 
throwing the ball, his power, everything. So would there be opportunities for him to play if they're giving him a chance at number one? Because if they're giving him that chance, would there be a package for him at number two if he does not get the number one? And also, Arthur Smith, he was asked some questions about that. He said as of right now, he does not know if there will be a package for Justin Fields. I'll get more into that in a different video. But as of right now, he's not sure if the package will be there for Justin Fields' capabilities on the offense. So, Russell Wilson, he's number one. Justin Fields is number two. And now Arthur Smith reconfirms that to all of us, in which we already knew. So that's the first topic topic of this video. Moving on to the second topic, the Pittsburgh Steelers have re-signed head coach Mike Tomlin to a three-year contract. So one of the big questions this offseason was Mike Tomlin. His contract is up soon. Was the Pittsburgh Steelers going to sign to a contract extension? Was he going to retire or would he come back and keep on coaching? Does he want to keep on coaching? Well, this confirms it. He wants to keep on coaching and the Steelers want him as well. And he'll be under contract until the 2027 season after signing a three-year contract extension. I want to talk more in depth on this on a specific topic video about it in general. So I'm going to save that for a different video. But Mike Thomas' contract basically matches up with Arthur Smith's contract as well. They'll both end at the same time. Is that a coincidence? Who knows? But now let's move over to the next topic of this video. Back over to Arthur Smith. Because he was talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers' versatility and depth that they added this offseason. And he mentioned a lot of guys. For example, they have Van Jefferson, Quez Watkins, Roman Wilson at the wide receiver position. And Smith spoke during the media appearance that he made about the roster in terms of the versatility and in terms of the depth. And he said this, we got a lot of guys that can play in multiple spots. Whether it's tight ends, we have some receivers that give positional flexibility, really like the depth that we have got up front right now. Obviously quarterback position, really the whole room is new players. Players and coaches gives you a lot of options. These guys have experience. Russ and Justin, even Kyle Allen, guys that have played meaningful snaps in this league. End quote. So, obviously the Steelers, this offseason, they didn't sign any two big name guys. Like in terms of positions, yes, they've added Dante Jackson to the cornerback room. They added an inside linebacker and Patrick Queen. But in terms of other positions, like wide receiver, for example, they added versatility. They didn't really add a superstar name. They lost Deontay Johnson, which was a big name, but they added depth. And that's what he's talking about. He's adding positional flexibility, people who could play multiple spots. They've added more tight ends to the roster. They didn't add big name tight ends, like another starter, someone who could take over and be a star. Yes, we have Pat Fryermuth, but he didn't isn't talking about that. He's talking about guys like just say his tight end that he brought in, McCall Pruitt from Atlanta. He brought in more tight ends as well, but more depth to this team. That's what he's talking about in terms of the players that they are brought in. They didn't necessarily bring in superstars. They brought in depth and players who could play different spots and do multiple things for them and be used in different ways. For example, Cordell Patterson is another player. He's a person who could play multiple positions. Wide receiver was a wide receiver in the past. Running back was a running back in the past. Kickoff returner. He could do multiple things for them and play multiple spots. So that's what Arthur Smith apparently wants from this team. Players who could do multiple things. And that's what he's shown in the past. Having tight ends play wide receiver positions. Moving wide receivers into tight end positions. He's done that in the past with the teams that he's been on in Atlanta, Tennessee, playing three tight ends at a time. So that's why he's bringing in more players, more depth, more people could do the same thing at different spots. So that's his offense. That's what you can expect. Players playing out of position sometimes or just doing multiple things for their team to win football games. So with that being said, that's just a look into Arthur Smith's perspective from the quarterback position, from different positions levels in terms of positional flexibility, and also just a little bit of info on the Mike Tomlin contract extension that he got yesterday. I didn't make a video covering it in general, so I'll do that eventually. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for everything Pittsburgh Steelers news and updates and everything like that. I cover all, I'll continue cover all, 
And also, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on Arthur Smith's comments about number one quarterback spot, Mike Tomlin's extension, and also just players brought in for depth reasons to play multiple spots. Do you like the idea of all three, or would you change any of them? Do you think Russell Wilson should be the number one, Justin Fields number two, or would you switch it? So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and until the next video, I'll see you guys all later. I'm out. Peace.